So, you'll see that we're missing one person. Little Glenjamin Button is feeling a little bit sick today. He did. He did, apparently. We just got out of Shin Godzilla, which is... A Japanese Godzilla movie. I'm going to turn this light on for some hair light. There we go. I don't know how else to introduce it. Yeah, that's it. It's, it's a Japanese Godzilla movie. It's a Japanese. They're not very happy with how Americans have been doing it lately, so they decided to do their own. I'm going to let you start, Corey. I actually really liked it. It was very Japanese, though. <laughs> very <laughs> very Japanese. It was very Japanese. Uh... If I had one complaint about it, is that it's very choppy in a way, where mm -hmm. it jumps between uh, areas and scenes. So much so to the point where they felt the need to put a title over every single location. There were there were points where there were six different things to read on the screen. Yeah. If you didn't... And if you don't read Japanese... Happened. It's a little hard to follow. I mean, they, they, they had subtitles, obviously, but... Uh, yeah, that's really my only complaint is that mm -hmm. it was it was choppy. It's it's if you're going to go see it, don't expect like the action packed American style that you're probably used to. Uh, the Japanese Godzilla movies have always been more about people and how they deal with Godzilla rather than Godzilla itself. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously, the first one was kind of a metaphor for nuclear warfare and all that. They kind of this this one was obviously a metaphor for the earthquake that happened in 2011. Yeah, there, there was a lot of things that kind of seemed like the tsunami mm -hmm. that was caused by the uh, earthquake. Uh, so kind of it kind of went back to its roots, which I really enjoyed. Yeah, I thought it was actually really good. Yeah, um, and there were some really cool scenes of action as well. Too. Yeah, uh, in the beginning, uh, this isn't really a spoiler. In the beginning, Godzilla isn't fully evolved yet. And he was kind of terrifying. Yeah, that uh, was, in uh, in his earliest form. It was it was laughable, but at the same time, was. just like cringy. Like, thought, like not thought, not in like a, a a bad way. It was just it, it kind of like the old Japanese movies where you see these big stupid rubber monsters just flopping around yeah, all over the place. But That's this basically what this thing was. But because it had modern technology, it was kind of disgusting in yeah. a way. <laughs> so it, it totally worked for me. Uh, I thought they were gonna go with a, a different direction with that. Like, I didn't know that was Godzilla at first. Yeah, I, I thought I didn't, maybe, like, he was just going to step on it at some point, and then, oh, now we got this to deal with. I thought I thought that it was going to be kind of like they did with Godzilla versus Mothra and Godzilla versus pretty much everything else, where yeah. Godzilla fights something. But, I like that they didn't do that. Yeah, I did too. Godzilla's more of a um, villain in this one. Which, he was in the very original yeah. one, and then over... You know, multiple movies, he became the now, king nowadays, of monsters. Nowadays, you watch a Godzilla movie, you want him to just crush everything. Yeah. In this one, you actually want to see them succeed. Or, or in the Matthew Broderick one, you kind of felt bad for him. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I don't care what I anyone says, I enjoy the Matthew Broderick one. Godzilla movies will always have a special place in my heart. I enjoy it to a point, and, but as soon as Hank Azaria is making jokes in a diner and Godzilla is just walking by... I have to check out a little bit. He doesn't. He doesn't like Hank Azaria. It's I, hilarious. I have a problem with that. They actually. There was one line in there where they actually kind of, you know, threw a hint at that, where he was talking about if it was New York, we'd be thinking the same way. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> That's very true. They, um, they know what we did. They oh, they know, and they're none too pleased. Not that they're like angry about no, it, but, but you, can, you can tell there's just a little bit of bitterness in there yeah. for us. Just just a little bit. Just a little bit. Um. I don't, I don't know what to say. If you're mm -hmm. if you're a casual fan of Godzilla movies, you probably won't like probably it. Probably not. If you're a big fan of Godzilla movies and are aware of the history of it and what the first one meant to Japanese people and uh and and all that, especially with um Hiroshima and Nagasaki and all that, it definitely kind of has it's not like super emotional, but there are parts where you can tell mm -hmm. that like that's still a uh, hard thing for them to talk about, um, and understandably so. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, if you're a big fan of the Godzilla movies and, and know what you're getting into, I think you'll definitely enjoy this. Yeah, definitely. Anything else to say? Um, I, I just wanted to note that this is kind of a new era for Godzilla movies where they're not 
taking themselves too lightly. They're actually trying to put heavy focus on, you know, actual camera work and yeah. product pr uh, production design and everything. I thought you were going to say product placement. Product placement. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe a little bit there. Maybe. I, I'm... Uh... I'm not one who like I like the American versions. I like I, the new one. I like the well. I I also like the Matthew Broderick one, but I like it for a reason. That's more of a nostalgia. Um, that that's more of a. So but at the same, I I like both. Like I hope I hope both America and Japan keeps making them mm -hmm. because they're both they're they're so different. They might as well not even be in the same series. Really, I mean, they got obviously they got the same monster and the same sound effects for the most part. I like the design um, of this new Godzilla though. The only thing I didn't like is how stiff it was. It was, but it was pretty... when you saw up close its skin, you kind of understood mm -hmm. why it was stiff. Uh, but yeah, I, I hope America and Japan keeps making them, because I enjoy both of their versions. So do I. They're, they're definitely different. Yeah. I'm going to give this a... I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. Uh, I'm sitting at an 8. An 8? Yeah. yeah. I thought it was really good. Mainly my... The only reason that I went lower than him is... The editing. Uh, it was a little. That was the only thing that. That's that's the Japanese. Yeah. Aspect but of it, right there. It, the thing is, they they did it in a way that was, like they didn't have the editing technology we do today, mm -hmm. where it was they were still using the stuff from the fifties. But hey, just my opinion. I still enjoyed it. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching that. Over there is going to be our last week's review, which was uh, "Girl on a Train." I don't know what we're going to put over there. Might just be something random. Check it out anyway. Check it out anyway. It's going to be something. Below my face, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, you know what to do on those. Uh, and below that, like, dislike, subscribe. And what's below that? Comment section. Comment section. Tell if us all about Godzilla. Tell us what your favorite Godzilla movie is. If you've of... seen Shin Godzilla, tell us what you thought of that. And hopefully you enjoyed it as much as us. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.